Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum students. Today we are going to cover a very important uh, clinical disorder of uh, adrenocortical hormones which is Cushing syndrome. And uh, in this uh, we will cover the etiology and uh, various clinical features and the treatment. And then uh, we will also uh, study about the dexamethasone suppression test. So let's start. Cushing syndrome. What is Cushing syndrome? Uh, it is uh, the hypersecretion by the adrenal cortex. It causes complex cassette of hormonal effects, which is called Cushing syndrome. Uh, what are the various causes here? They are the list of the causes. The first one is the increased pharmacological doses of the glucocorticoids. We have studied that the glucocorticoids, they uh, are used for the, uh, to decrease the inflammation in case of the chronic inflammatory diseases. For example, rheumatoid arthritis or the glomerulonephritis. glomerulonephritis. So, uh, when there will be the uh, increased uh, dosage of glucocorticoids in these diseases, so it may lead to the Cushing syndrome. Also, uh, the second cause is there may be the adenomas of the adrenal glands, which causes increased glucocorticoid secretion, or there may be tumors of the anterior pituitary gland, which causes increased ACTH, and ultimately it will lead to increased cortisol secretion. There may be the abnormal function of the hypothalamus, which causes increased corticotropin releasing hormone. Uh, which ultimately lead to the increased ACTH and, and increased cortisol. Or there may be the ectopic secretion of the ACTH by uh, abdominal carcinoma. So the uh, increased, this is the most important uh, cause of the Cushing syndrome, which is the increased ACTH secretion. And when the uh, Cushing syndrome that occurs uh, secondary to the excess secretion of ACTH, this is called Cushing disease. So what is Cushing disease? When uh, the Cushing syndrome or the increased glucocorticoid secretion, it occurs due to the excess secretion of the ACTH. So the most common uh, form of the Cushing syndrome is the Cushing disease. And Cushing disease is caused by the tumor in the pitch tree gland. Now we will uh, study about the dexamethasone suppression test. Uh, what is dexamethasone suppression test? Uh, this test is based on the ability of the dexamethasone to suppress ACTH secretion. Uh, dexamethasone is a synthetic glucocorticoid. And if you remember uh, the regulation of the cortisol, that uh, first of all, the corticotropin releasing hormone it is released from the hypothalamus, travel to the hypothalamic hypophyseal portal vessels to the anterior pitch tree. In the anterior pitch tree, there are the cells which are called corticotrophs. It binds with the receptors on the corticotrophs and causes the stimulation of the uh, release of the ACTH. And the ACTH then has uh, multiple effects and it causes, it acts on the adrenal cortex to cause the secretion of the cortisol. And then at the cortisol, it suppresses the secretion of the ACTH and the CRF through the negative feedback. When dexamethasone is a synthetic glucocorticoid and when it is administered, it causes, it affects on the ACTH through negative feedback and it suppresses the secretion of the ACTH. So what happened? In normal persons, low dose dexamethasone, it suppresses ACTH secretion and so cortisol secretion. So uh, dexamethasone is administered in the normal person in low dose quantity. When low dose dexamethasone is administered and if the person is normal, what does it do? It decreases ACTH secretion and ultimately, when ACTH secretion is decreased, so cortisol secretion is also decreased. And uh, in case of ACTH secreting tumors, which is Cushing disease, in Cushing disease, there will be increased ACTH secretion. I have told you that in Cushing disease, there may be tumor in the anterior pitch tree and it causes increased ACTH secretion. So what happened in the Cushing disease? Low dose dexamethasone, it will have no effect on reducing the ACTH secretion, but when we administered the high dose dexamethasone, it suppresses ACTH secretion. So ACTH secretion is decreased when high dose dexamethasone is administered and consequently it will reduce the cortisol secretion. So we, uh, we will know when, uh, when by administering high dose dexamethasone and when ACTH secretion is decreased, so 
it is obvious that it is the Cushing disease that ACTH is secreting more from the uh, anterior pitch tree tumor and a high dose dexamethasone suppresses its secretion. And what happens in case of adrenal cortical tumors? When the cortisol is secreting more from the tumor in the adrenal glands, there is no pathology in the anterior pitch tree. ACTH is normal, but cortisol is still high. Why? Because of its more secretion from the tumor in the adrenal gland. So what happens in that case? Neither low dose nor high dose, it will suppress cortisol secretion. Because remember that dexamethasone, it affects on the secretion of ACTH. But when the cortisol is increasing, uh, is secreting more from the tumor in the adrenal gland, so uh, the dexamethasone uh, will have no effect on the cortisol directly which is secreting more from the adrenal gland tumor, it will, uh, the, uh, the dexamethasone will affect on the ACTH. So it has effect to reduce the ACTH secretion, but in this case, which is the Cushing syndrome due to the adrenal disease or the adrenal tumors, uh, low dose or high dose dexamethasone will not affect its secretion. So let's take, study this image also. Said bed mean administered dexamethasone. Now I think it's easy to understand when dexamethasone is administered, it is low dose and high dose. When uh, low dose, it will decrease the cortisol. This is a case of normal person. When uh, dexamethasone is administered and it will decrease ACTH secretion and uh, ultimately the cortisol is lowered, it is a case of normal person. But when the cortisol is not uh, decreased by low dose dexamethasone, it indicates that it is Cushing syndrome. Now we will administer high dose dexamethasone. In case of high dose, when we administered, what does it do? It will decrease the ACTH secretion. It will affect on the ACTH, which is coming from the anterior pitch tree tumor. When ACTH is decreased, ultimately cortisol will be decreased. So it means this is due to the Cushing disease. Cushing syndrome is due to the Cushing disease when high dose dexamethasone will lower the cortisol level. But even when the high dose dexamethasone will not lower the cortisol level, cortisol is still high. Then what does it indicate? Then we will see the levels of the ACTH. If ACTH is low, it means that uh, high cortisol is giving negative feedback to the ACTH. So it is due to the adrenal Cushing that high dose dexamethasone will have no effect on the adrenal gland tumor. It can affect only on the anterior pitch tree tumor. So adrenal gland uh, cortisol is still high coming from the adrenal glands. It is the Cushing syndrome due to adrenal disease. Even if the uh, cortisol is high and ACTH is also high, both are high. Even after the administration of high dose dexamethasone, so it indicates that uh, ACTH is coming more from the ectopic secretion, that is from the abdominal carcinoma. I think uh, the things are clear now. Now, what are the clinical features of the Cushing syndrome? Uh, the clinical features may be due to the increased cortisol and the androgen levels. Uh, first of all, we know that the cortisol is associated with the increase in the blood glucose level. It causes through gluconeogenesis and uh, decrease glucose utilization by the cells and the insulin resistance. All the three effects, it will lead to the hyperglycemia and ultimately the glucose, it comes in urine and it will mimic the diabetes mellitus. And in this case, uh, we will call it as the adrenal diabetes. As there is insulin resistance, uh, we can administer insulin uh, but it has very little effect to reduce the blood glucose level because there is insulin resistance. Then there will be acne and hirsutism. Hirsutism is the excessive growth of the facial hair and it is due to the increased androgen levels. Then I have told you also before that one of the particular uh, feature of the uh, Cushing syndrome is the mobilization of fat from the lower part of the body and the deposition in the upper abdominal and the thoracic region, uh, which uh, produce a particular type of central obesity and giving to the buffalo torso and the edematous moon face, uh, which is due to the increased secretion of steroids. As you can see, 
this is a boy before the development of the Cushing syndrome and this is the edematous condition of the face which is due to the increased secretion of the glucocorticoids. Also, is also a picture of a patient which has the edematous swelling of the face. This is the after treatment of the Cushing syndrome. So, then hypertension also develop which is 80% of the hypertension is due to the mineralocorticoid effect of the cortisol. So, um, the other features are that there will be the decreased proteins everywhere else in the body except the liver. It increases, if you remember the effects of the glucocorticoids, it increases uh, the protein synthesis only in the liver, but catabolic effect on protein in the muscle and the immune system, in the all the extra hepatic tissues. So, loss of protein from the muscle, it will lead to the muscle weakness. Loss of protein from the uh, lymphoids, it will lead to the suppressed immune system. Then, uh, decreased proteins, collagens in the subcutaneous tissue, it will, it will lead to the easy tearing of the tissues and causing the large purplish stria and decrease uh, protein deposition in the bone. It will lead to the weakened bones and will lead to the osteoporosis. As you can see in the diagram, there will be the central obesity, deposition of fat, and there will be the thin extremities, which, will, uh, which indicates that the loss of protein from the muscles. And there will be weakened bones leading to the osteoporosis, as you can see the fracture. And there will be the thin skin leading to the purplish stria and the bruises and the petechial hemorrhages. Now, what is the treatment? Uh, we will focus on the treatment of the cause. Cause is the adrenal tumor. We will go for the surgery of the adrenal tumor. If there uh, are tumors in the pituitary gland, then uh, we will remove through surgery or destroy it by the radiation. So the idea is to decrease the secretion of the adrenocorticotropic hormone. We can also give the drugs, drugs that block the steroidogenesis, for example, ketoconazole and the drugs that inhibit the ACTH secretion, for example, the serotonin antagonist. And if even after the treatment, ACTH secretion is not decreased satisfactorily, then the total adrenalectomy followed by the adrenal steroids. Here is a case scenario. We will uh, go through it. Uh, Harold Potts is 48 year old employee of a local moving company. Over the past two years, he had gained 30 pounds, mostly around his middle face and shoulders. Although his arms and legs have become very thin. You can see there is deposition in the uh, shoulders and face and in the abdomen and arms and legs are thin. His appetite had always been good, but in the past two years, it had become enormous. He had made an appointment to see his physician because he is having trouble doing heavy lifting that is required in his job. In the clinic, Harold's BP was 165. By 105, he has truncal obesity with thin extremities, buffalo hump, intrascapular fat accumulation, moon face and stretch marks dry on the abdomen. And we will see about the uh, serum sodium is 140, normal is also 140, potassium is 3, normal is 4.5. Then a fasting glucose is 155, which showing the hyperglycemia, serum cortisol level is high and serum ACTH is undetectable. So all these signs and symptoms and the clinical and the lab findings, it, it is indicating that it is the case of Cushing syndrome. So then uh, we will go for the treatment as I have told you. So this is all for today. Thank you so much students.